If you're a soup lover like me, then I think you're gonna really like this recipe I'm making today, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN, and I follow the Start Solution. I've been following the Start Solution since January of 2020, and I was able to lose those last 15 pounds. If you'd like more information on the Start Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book in the description box below. On my channel, you'll find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes, so if that all sounds good to you, please subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, if you're new to this way of eating, or maybe you're just curious, or you've been doing it a long time, but you just feel like you need some support. I started a Facebook group, and we are a group of like-minded people, and there you will find photos, recipes, inspiration, and best of all, support. I'll leave a link to my Facebook group in the description box below. So today I'm gonna to be making one of my favorite soups. It's a butternut squash soup. I know you've probably seen a billion butternut squash soups recipe, but mine is whole food, plant-based, no oil, very simple. It's all gonna go in the Instant Pot. You can make it on the stove as well. So it's very versatile. I wanted to make some soup so I could take it to lunch with me uh, next week. And then if I wanted to have it when I came home for dinner a couple nights this week, I'll have some already made. So along with my soup, I'm also going to show you my lunch that I'm gonna to make today. I'm gonna to be making some spring rolls. I've really been in the mood for some spring rolls and these are so easy and so simple. So let's get started. So let me show you the ingredients. Of course, we have a butternut squash. I've got some celery that I've already chopped up half of it and then I've got some carrots. I'm gonna put in an onion, some Yukon Gold potatoes, and then I have some herbs over here. I have parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Yeah, I went there. Um, these are fresh herbs. You can use dried if you want, and you can change up the combo. These are just the four that I'm going to put in that I think will taste good. And we're gonna put some, my cheater garlic in there. So for spices, I've got onion powder, garlic powder, salt, little smoked paprika, and some red pepper flakes. And then I'm gonna use my no chicken. Um,
Try to get all the colors in there. And a little red onion. And I am not good at this, so these do not come out super pretty or anything like that, but you know, it doesn't matter. So you kind of tuck it in, tuck the sides in, and you don't want it to sit too long because then it's going to fall apart. And then just roll it up like that. And there you go. That is my beautiful spring rolls. I mean, what a work of art. Ha ha ha. So let's do one more. See if I can get better on the next one. I'm not known for my food art. All right. So roll it. Tuck in the sides. And there you go. Another perfect spring roll. Now I'm gonna show you a quick peanut sauce. Okay, so for this peanut sauce, I'm using um, sugar-free PB2. I've got about a quarter cup in here. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of water and start with that. And if I need to make it thinner, then I'll add, yeah, I'm gonna have to, okay. Well, we'll see. We start with that and then I had to write down the recipe because I couldn't remember. Then I've got some coconut aminos. I'm going to use a tablespoon. A tablespoon of maple syrup. And a teaspoon of rice vinegar. I'm just gonna eyeball this. That was probably too much. That's why you shouldn't eyeball it. Okay, let's mix it around and if we need to add more water, we will. And you just wanna stir it till it's smooth. And if it's too thin, just add some more PB2. You know, it's just how you like it. This is a great uh, salad dressing as well. I also like to put in a little bit of ginger. You know, two or three little shakes. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the PB2 because I want it a little bit thicker. And the great thing about PB2 is that it's 87% less fat than regular peanut butter. So here they are. I've got my peanut sauce. And then I also have my sweet chili sauce. So the soup is done. I'm gonna puree some of it, get that ready. So let me show you how I do that. And then I'm gonna taste both the soup and the spring rolls. All right, let's see how it came out. Oh, looks beautiful. So I'm gonna take some of this Put it in my Vitamix. Like I said, I like to have some chunks, some smooth. Get some of that broth in there. And it's up to you how you want to do this. If you want to puree the whole thing, then go for it. But my family likes a little bit of chunks in there. All right, so I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna blend this up and then I'll show you the finished product. So let's start with our spring rolls. Hmm. These are so colorful and beautiful and they will stick together, but let's give this one a try. I'm gonna try the peanut sauce first. So good. Yes, I'm double dipping, but I'm the only one eating this, so it's okay. I'm trying the sweet chili. Mm. They're just so fresh and mm. so good. This is definitely low fat, 
great for weight loss. Um, I love having this for lunch. You can pair it with some rice. And that peanut sauce or the sweet chili sauce goes great on rice, so yummy. Now let's try the soup. And it's so, I know these two things don't even go together, but that's how I eat, that's how I roll. So let me try the soup. And I garnished it with some of those fresh herbs. So I still have some chunks in here of potato and butternut squash and celery and everything. And then I've got the pureed, which makes it a little bit thicker. So let's give this a taste. Mm -hmm. So delicious. It's sweet. Um, there's some red pepper flakes in here, so it makes it a little bit hot, just a little bit. And this is going to be so good this week to have this for lunch and oh, delightful. So I hope you give these two a try. And these are two really good weight loss recipes. They're low calorie, they're low fat, they're chock full of veggies and fiber. So give them a try. And remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. It's definitely that time of year for soup, and, oh, I don't know what to say. And then uh, we've got some, oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I'm just having one of those days. Really? So take two.